All right, here we are facing an Astro Phoenix. We're going second. We have a few more first turn plays, obviously, with Barry Magician Girl and Kite Roy. Those are our first turn plays, but here we are going second. Still not a huge deal. We're facing heroes, so Comic Hand is really good. Although Dystopia, or whatever it's called, has an immediate out for Comic Hand, which is super annoying. But uh, what are you going to do? And then he goes into Wonder Driver, so this guy is all sorts of extra. Bringing out a Malicious, all sorts of plays, goes with the Poly. Dystopia. Searches the Poly, Dystopia once again. No big deal. Three back row, so I mean, this is literally like as good as a... D hero field is gonna get but we top deck a bookmark great top deck search kingdom with it now our stuff is protected kingdom is there we normal summon our berry magician girl just to be safe in case you lose all your tuned dark magician girls you want to do your berry magician girl first he's going to uh destroy toon kingdom with unexpected die then we still use our comic hand anyway Steal his monster. Then we go with the Unicorn. Pump up the card back into the deck. Hit him for 2200. Now all the pressure is on him. He's got a Miracle Fusion. Hero Sunrise. Does destroy our monster, but... We have plenty of Berry Magician girls left. There is our Dark Magician Girl, and this guy's over for great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Playmaker. These are probably the toughest matchups with just, it could be Crusadia, it could be Okust, it could be Tenyi, or Kust. Um, yeah, you never know what it is. Here it's Tenyi. Going into Monk of the Tenyi. Going into Vessel. Blah, blah, blah. This variant obviously didn't give me a lot of trouble. It's still probably the tougher matchup, but uh, as long as we got like a super sick hand, it was still uh, not too stressful really. So boom, boom. Bring a monster. Adds it to our hand, or his hand. Oh, this is taking forever. Fourth, seven thousand life. Come on, dude, finish your turn. Man, just to get clapped so quick and so easily, it's so nonsense. It's a tune world already out the gates. Look at what we top deck. Comic can. We'll take that monster you took forever to summon. Now we'll just use our own monster. And guess what? We have a leap amount of damage. We use harpies. Harpies are able to special summon. We already have two. Toon Dark Magician Girls, he had 7,000 life points, and we were still able to climb over this combo link player, link synchro, whatever you want to call him. It's all noise as we OTK and break great stuff. Alright, here we are going first against a hero player. So this is definitely the second turn deck. We do have very efficient first turns. And weirdly enough, you're going to see a lot of first turn uh, replays here. It's quite the conundrum, but uh, we go with it. We go with our Berry Magician Girl. Berry Girl is live. She's fine. He's got a... He's Necros, so he's all sorts of noise. He starts with a Manju, reinforcements of the army. Searches another Necro. Where is he going with this? More Necro action. Oh, don't look at Brood Enforcer. Okay. There's the Brio. Necro Cycle. Strategist. Brio again. Not even a lethal amount of damage on the field. We put two defense bring out our chocolate magician girl he destroys her which is not what he should have done all right he didn't even swing again doesn't even matter 
or Comic Hand, his biggest monster. He can stop that with Trishula. Not a huge deal. We still have Rollback and uh, a simple Dark Magician girl. It's really all we need. So just so many ways to absolutely own your opponents. But did you notice he had Grit? So we hit him for what would have been lethal, but we use our Chocolate Magician Girl over his Manju to beat the Grit. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are going second against Averis. You see a lot of Averis on the rankings, but uh, surely it's not Rockets, because I beat Rockets every time with this deck. Or maybe they're Rockets, and they're just not running into a lot of Tombs, because uh, Tombs don't really have a hard time beating this deck. He's going into an X, or a Link, sorry, a Booster Dragon. Not a very menacing field for us at all. Really, all we need is the Comic Can to beat it, but we're going to use the two bookmark regardless. Then we use the Kingdom. He's going to Cosmic Cycle in the Kingdom. Not a huge deal because we use the good skills, so we're still able to Comic Hand. We can play our Fairy Magician Girl. Harpy Lady's going to be able to destroy his field spell. We even searched another Fairy Magician Girl. Look at how good. This is going for us. We even have a lethal amount of damage. He has literally no cards on hand or field. Our poor guy. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing some speed roids. They were gen. They would. They could give you a lot of trouble. It depends on your hand. Usually, you're just gonna comic hand their big boy, and it's an easy life. This duel, I could definitely see how we're finally going second, because you you just they they rely on the gates and. They don't really negate anything we do, so we do just fine. With the Time Lords, they were getting me first turns, but uh, second turn, they they have a hard time. So here they go. Here's Clear Wing. Getting a cutscene. Abusing the skill. Keep it going. Crystal Wing. Crystals are also clear. He's following up with yo-yo, so this guy is just he's gonna he's trying to negate everything. He's gonna negate everything. But it doesn't matter. We have bookmark. We play Toon World outright. We get another bookmark. So we're gonna go with Comic Can. We are animals. We don't even need our kingdom. All we gotta do is Comic Can this biggest boy that negates all effects. Now we can use an effect. We use Tomb Raider Magician Girl's effect to search the Dark Magician Girl. Put her alongside our new Crystal Wing Toon Dragon. And we hit him for lethal, no problem whatsoever. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing little Yug. We're going first again. Uh, do I have any second turn replays? What is going on with all these first turns? It's insane. So he's Soul of Light and Darkness. You know the score. Pretty easy deck to beat for us, honestly. He doesn't really do too much. That threatens us. He has to rely on drawing very creative text to get around us. So he has a bit of trouble. And we're going to give him a bit of trouble. And you ran into plenty of these in the KC Cup. So it was, it, uh, was pretty easy. Then we're going to play our Tomb Kingdom after Berry Magician Girl. We summon Harpy because she can take the hit with Toon Kingdom, and she'll be able to swing next turn. We already have another bookmark and our Dark Magician Girl ready. Fairy Magician Girl is live, so we're doing pretty well. He swings into our Toon, not a big deal, just one monster into Bath Pro. Not a hard field to handle at all. We use our bookmark once again. Comic Can will take that monster off you no problem. Thank you, sir. He can't be targeted, so we're all good. And guess what? I'm an animal with these Link monsters. We're going to go with Phoenix. Aim for one of those back row. Goodbye, Dark Magician Girl. He's going to Compulsory Evacuation us. That's no problem, because that's not even a card we aimed for. We aimed for the Mirror Force. Not that that was really a big threat with Toon Kingdom either. And we follow up with Berry Magician Girl and another Toon Dark Magician Girl as we hit the boy for lethal. Nice and easy. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Yuto. We're going first. I'm blown away by how many of these replays have been first turn plays. But anyway, he's full pendulum. Let's see what we've got for him. Comic Can, Toon Kingdom, Kite Roid, Rollback. Pretty basic hand. 
and even with just these cards, we could OTK him, but we're gonna bluff our Comic Hand, and he Cosmic Cyclone's it. So the bluff was successful, and it's usually because they have, like, that card right there, Dragon Pit, who can also destroy our Toon Kingdom. But that's what Bookmark's for, that's what the Kingdom is for, that's why our skill is so easy to use. If we had to use Toon Invitation, we would lose another card, it would be a lesser hand. Going with Rebellion Dragon, doing all this nonsense, all that Pendulum nonsense. I'm starting to like Pendulums more than certain Link decks. Uh, he's going with the big boy, the Odd Rager. Odd, odd Eyes Raging Dragon. He destroys everything, he swings a bunch, he's a crazy monster. But uh, we're going to be a little crazier. Swings once, we don't care. Swings twice, now we're awake, we use our Kyroid. No, thank you, sir. Now we got a Toon Table content. We search the bookmark. Let's see what page we bookmarked. It's the comic hand, of course. We don't need our own monsters whatsoever. We can win this duel completely with spell cards. We could have a handful of spell cards and win this duel with lethal damage, use his own monster's effect to destroy all his pendulum zones. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing another Pegasus, but I think it's Life Point Boost, not another Toon, which Life Point Boost does slow us down a bit. It stops the perfect OTKs of our Dark Magician girls, so that's pretty good. I love Harpy Lady, guys. This card is so good in Toons, and people are not using it. It's crazy to me. This guy's using Dual Avatar, so he gets Style Points, but I don't think there's much this deck can do against our hyper-tuned Toons. We play our kingdom again before our Berry Magician Girl. It's a very bold move. But it doesn't really matter. Here she is. Now here's Harpy Lady. She's going to pop a back row. Boom, boom. And I should note how Harpy Lady's a... Or I'll do it in a better replay. Anyway, we, we comic can that boy. Go with a Phoenix. We're going to hit his back row. Throw away the uh, Kite Roid. So really just crushed his entire field. He only has one card in hand. One card to draw, and uh, we're 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 pretty set. Looks like he got a move, a normal summon into a search. Two back row sets. We get two table content. Search our rollback. Not that that's really useful in this situation. We don't even use it. It's gonna use a return to summon a lot of monsters. Obviously, that doesn't really affect us in any means. He uses those monsters to search once again. We're just gonna wait to finish our swing politely. And boom, there it is as we win the duel. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing Yusei. People are using all sorts of jacked up Yusei decks with that new Kenny and uh, or Cust and all that noise. We're going first again. I'm surprised how many first turn. W's we pulled off, but uh, this deck is really solid. This is this is like the way to run tunes. So I mean, everyone's really off base with that tune invitation and tune dark magician stuff. It's really not that worth it, honestly. What are you turboing towards? You're just searching other cards. You're getting consistently with this deck anyway. It doesn't really make any sense. Just head towards your OTKs. That's all you need to really worry about. Put the pressure on as quickly as possible and that is tunes so uh here he's going with the dreadnought not really much that's gonna do not really much stormberg's gonna do and there wasn't even much that uh this bird did glyph the phantom so it's pretty easy we're gonna comic hand his own dreadnought very magician girl search another or ooh, we search chocolate we're getting all sorts of extra then we're going with a nightmare phoenix because he seems like the kind of guy who plays battle traps he was not, it was evacuation device. So uh, we will take a bit more to OTK him. Golden Castle is not a problem though. Toon Kingdom is greater than this Golden Castle Kingdom. Our Kingdom is much better. Vanishes 10, keeps his car, brings out the Glyph. We protect ourselves. Once again, not a huge deal. Here's our Kyroid. Now he's in the graveyard, now we have two. All it takes is one, Tomb Kingdom over Golden Castle, 
and we are good to go guys great great stuff all right here we are facing an astro phoenix we're going second we have a few more first turn plays obviously with Barry magician girl and kite Roy, those are our first turn plays but here we are going second still not a huge deal we're facing heroes so comic hand is really good although dystopia or whatever it's called has an immediate out for comic hand which is super annoying but uh what are you gonna do and then he goes into wonder driver so this guy is all sorts of extra bringing out a malicious all sorts of plays goes with the poly dystopia searches the poly dystopia once again no big deal three back row so i mean this is literally like as good as a d hero field is gonna get but we top deck a bookmark great top deck search kingdom with it now our stuff is protected kingdom is there we normal summon our very magician girl just to be safe in case you lose all your tuned dark magician girls you want to do your very magician girl first he's going to uh destroy toon kingdom with unexpected die then we still use our comic hand anyway steal his monster let me go with the unicorn pump up the card back into the deck hit him for 2200 now all the pressure is on him he's got a miracle fusion hero sunrise does destroy our monster but we have plenty of berry magician girls left there is our Dark Magician Girl, and this guy's over for great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Varus, a very popular on the leaderboard of rankings, but poss can't possibly be for Rockets. So I didn't lose a single duel to Rockets. I, I faced them at least two or three times. Three or four times, maybe. Didn't really lose once. So boot sector, boot launcher, set to back row, it's Toon World, comic hands everywhere, we got three comic hands, we're gonna win this duel purely with spell cards, we don't even need monsters, he's all monsters, we're all spell cards, it's gonna be a long duel, we use our bookmark, there's our Toon Kingdom, he immediately scoops, that was wise, we won this whole duel with just spell cards. Rockets are no threat. How did they rank so high? Surely people are just using Varus for something else and it's not Rockets. Or who knows, maybe people are just playing Rocket wrong and they're not running into Toons. This deck was clapping. I don't think people are playing Toons properly and I don't think Toons are going to show up in the KC Cup because of that. Hopefully, wink, that means this great version of Toons you see right here is going to escape a ban list. Let them hit Toon Invitation. Let them hit uh, Toon Dark Magician. S noise like that. Let's keep this deck fire fire. They may get rid of the Kyroid, which will be a bummer, but that's okay. They might try to keep us away from Terraform. Who knows what they're going to do to Toons, but Toons are having their time in the sun. Super tough right now. Fantastic KC Cup results with just Toons. Great, great stuff, guys.